Hi, everybody, and welcome to Teaching Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. This week, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about universal design for learning. It's pretty common knowledge among educators that teaching isn't one size fits all. What works for one doesn't work for another. That's because students come to us with different backgrounds. They come with different educational histories so that they have slightly different knowledge and skills from each other, and they have different lived experiences. They come from different cultures and different subcultures that have different values associated with education. As an instructor, increasing your awareness of the ways in which your students are different from you is going to help you design a more inclusive learning experience for your students. Universal Design for Learning is an approach to constructing a learning environment that gives all students a chance to succeed. If you incorporate this into your classroom, you will help to ensure that learners can access and meaningfully participate in the learning experience. UDL differs from standard course design by putting emphasis on the why, what, and how of learning. This provides choices so that you can tap into the strengths of individual students and provide specific supports to prevent deficits from overwhelming the individual student and stopping the learning process. Let's explore what this means to you as an instructor, beginning with the why of learning. Each learner has different motivation for learning, so why they want to learn varies. Harnessing this difference between students to promote effective learning by everybody is achieved by providing different means to engage students. I've got several tips for doing this. You can provide choice options in assignments that touch on different interests or goals for various subsets of your students. For example, if you're teaching an anatomy class, have an assignment where they might choose applications related to physical education or applications related to medicine, depending on the specific interests of the students. Stress authentic examples that use real life career relevant problems to engage your learners. Focus on the goals of learning or the learning outcomes to avoid distractions. Allow collaboration and community since most students are more motivated to learn when they're socially engaged. Manage the expectations of your students. Remember that nobody becomes an expert overnight. Finally, help students to monitor their progress toward their goals by integrating self-assessment and reflection. What students are learning is equally important. Remember that each individual perceives and comprehends information differently. So to ensure that all students have equal access to content, it's important to provide that content via different representational forms. Practically, this means that you shouldn't provide all of your content in just one form, be it reading or lecture. Instead, integrate images, video, written and spoken forms so that you can reach all of your students regardless of the strengths or weaknesses they have in dealing with particular types of content. Remember that not all students are equally fluent with English, even among native speakers. Clarify vocabulary by expressing concepts several different ways, using different verbal structures. If there are complex verbal structures in the reading or other materials, help the students to break them down into manageable chunks, helping them to build their skills at understanding complex material. Don't assume uniform background knowledge among your students. Incorporate what you expect them to know or provide remedial resources. So, for example, if you expect your students to understand the quadratic equation going into a lesson, remind them of this. You may not have time to reteach the quadratic equation, but certainly you can provide a link to a YouTube video that does that. When presenting complex ideas, help to guide the students through them with targeted questions. Finally, focus on the big picture generalizations that students will retain after the course is over. The final component of universal design for learning focuses on how students express what it is that they have learned. And as with everything else, students hear different in their strengths and aptitudes. Instructors should strive to incorporate into their courses many different ways for students to demonstrate what they've learned. This provides all students with opportunities to show that they have achieved learning outcomes without necessarily being bound by the strictures of particular forms of expression. 
There are a lot of ways that you can do this in your classes. Remember that assignments should allow assessment of student achievement of learning outcomes. If a paper, a presentation, or an art project would all allow you to assess this, why not provide students with the choice? This reduces bias against AAVE speakers, English as a second language speakers, people with speech impediments, all sorts of students who have different abilities will be brought into the fold and engaged more thoroughly in your course. You can also allow the use of multimedia approaches to communications with students. Provide your comments sometimes in video form. Allow students to respond to comments in video form. Canvas gives us a lot of opportunities to do this within the LMS. Finally, if you have a single assignment that is large, and that you're not flexible with regard to formatting, make sure that you scaffold this assignment. Break it into small chunks so that students have an opportunity to receive feedback on different components and improve their performance overall before the final project is due. This will help them to gain familiarity with forms that they're less comfortable with. Remember, all your students are different. Design your course in ways that value these differences as strengths, and you will see a flourishing among your students. You'll have a more inclusive course, and your students will be more engaged. And that's this week's teaching tip, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Remember, at SIDL, we offer support for course design, learning activities, assessment, and pedagogy. Visit our website to schedule a consult today.